what I've been using recently because I feel like my skin is looking pretty good overall, at least like the radiance of it and like the overall texture of my skin I'm pretty happy with. Like, I don't know, you probably can't see right now, but like up close, like I have a few breakouts and things, but it's not like crazy. So anyways, let's get started. So, um, also before I start, I want to mention that I do have a Patreon and it's linked down below. I really want to start promoting that a little bit more because I'm a lot more vulnerable over on that platform than I am on YouTube right now. And it's just kind of a different vibe. If you're interested in that, it's always linked, linked, linked down below. below, below. So the first thing that I will share with you guys is the face wash that I've been using most often recently. So this is from the brand Drunk Elephant. And if you've never tried any products from this brand before, it is a little bit more on the higher end side. I know um, they have like these little sets where you can try out all the different products and that's how it kind of got brought onto my radar. And this is their Bestie, is that what it is? Bestie, B-E-S-T-E, number nine, Jelly Cleanser. And it says Cantaloupe Glycerin on it, Purify and Dissolve. So prior to using this, I have always used that black face wash. Is it from Bior, Biore, whatever, like from the drugstore, Target, whatever. And I really liked the sensation that it had on my skin. And I almost liked that it dried out my skin because it felt like it like stripped all the oils and I could like start fresh with moisturizer. And I was kind of against using any other kind of cleanser for some reason. I also liked the kind of like menthol-y sensation on my skin too. But I ran out of it and I remembered that I had a little mini bottle of this that came in one of those little sets from Drunk Elephant. It actually is nice. It comes in a little pouch. A little, a little pouch. It's not fabric and it doesn't really feel like plastic. It feels almost like a soft touch kind of thing. And this cleanser is wonderful. I feel like I have to attribute this cleanser as like the main thing that has changed my skin, at least for me personally. I feel like it doesn't overly strip your face, but it does get it to like a very good, like neutral kind of spot, which is what I love about it. And if you can tell, like we've got like a little glow going on and I haven't put on any products on my face today. I, I washed my face whenever I was in the shower last night and that's it. So this stuff is incredible. It smells like soap, which is like, I mean, it's glycerin. So glycerin is soap, right? It doesn't smell like cantaloupe like it says on your cantaloupe glycerin, like you would think it might have some fragrance in it, but it doesn't. I love, love, love this stuff. It says an innovative jelly cleanser that removes all traces of makeup, excess oil, pollution, and any other grime from the day. So that is the first product. Next, what I'll use after I get out of the shower and wash, wash my face, I use this moisturizer, and I'm not sure that I've showed this on my channel. I might have whenever I lived in my old apartment last year. I did like a, I don't know if it was a skincare video, it might have been like a get unready with me or get ready for bed with me type of thing. But this is the real Real Elemental Practice, R-E-P, -R R-E-P. This is the Nutri Nature Ultra All-in-One Multi-Item, and I got this at Ulta back in the day. Uh, this is my second bottle of it, by the way. It 
is incredible and I also really like the packaging like you can see the little tube inside of there so you know exactly how much you have left and I truly feel like I don't know what the technology is whatever like within this packaging that makes it this way but I feel like there's zero waste like you really do get every last bit because it seems like it's almost like vacuum sealed or like something crazy in there so it looks kind of like sci-fi and cool maybe i'm crazy maybe it just looks like a piece of trash but i think it's great and this is a i'm pretty sure it's korean yeah it's a korean brand i don't know if they still sell it at ulta i tried to look on the website last night not ulta but this website and it's on sale for like 20 dollars i think definitely worth it. I'll put on a little bit for you guys to see what it looks like in a second. But this says highly effective natural actives combined with raw organic ingredients. And it's made without six major parabens. We've got lotus seed as one of the ingredients, rose hips, avocado, and olive. And what these all do, the avocado is moisturizing and brightening. Lotus seed is antioxidant effect and protecting. Rose hips, antioxidant effect and nourishing. And olive is nourishing and moisturizing. So. So, this 
this is, I really like the packaging of it, that it's a pump, because I like that you don't have to like stick your fingers in it, so it just like comes out like that, and you just, um, this is a really hydrating product, if you can tell the thickness through the screen, it is like, it honestly feels like you're touching butter, 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 butter. I probably don't need both of these, but oh well, it's fine. It's fine, maybe a little on the neck. This feels like Lux. Um, I'll talk about this in a minute. Well, maybe I'll just bring it up now, but I'm wanting to buy a new moisturizer and invest. See, look how gorgeous those look together once my skin is like not red anymore. Y'all can see. I feel like they complement each other really well. Um, but I've been wanting to try a new moisturizer. I am really considering buying the uh, Angel Skin by the brand Dew. I think that's how you say it. D-I-E-U-X. And this, it's called Instant Angel. And then there's another product from them that I'm interested in. It's the serum, and it's called, uh, oh shit, what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Deliverance. I'm pretty sure it's called Deliverance. The serum is $69, and the moisturizer is $45, and it comes in this metal tube, like an aluminum tube. And, I don't know, but... I am very interested in that. If you guys have heard about it, tried it out, let me know. I'm also wanting to get Hailey Bieber's skincare line if I can. Tomorrow's the restock. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the restock. Um, yeah, but I want to try all of her stuff. Like, I'm just very curious. I love Hailey Bieber. I feel like a lot of people love Hailey Bieber, so it's not a unique opinion, but I really would like to try the glazing fluid and the barrier restore cream and the lip treatments as well. I'm just curious about the flavors and I also want to get it too so that I can do a video for you guys and y'all can see like a review, even though that's not really what I do on here that much. I don't care. I'll tell y'all what, what I think about it. So yeah. If I can get my hands on those, that's what I want to do. Although these products are working really well. Like, look. It's cute. It's so cute. So, that is that. That is that little tangent. If you guys have any recommendations that are not those brands, let me know what your favorite moisturizer is, your favorite cleanser, any of your skincare products that are must-haves for you. I would love to know before I go drop a big, you know, pretty penny on these things. But, yeah. So, the next go-to is this, hands down. These are from Ulta. And they're from the brand Cream Shop.
last like six months or longer. I think I got this for my birthday. But this is the Laneige. Laneige is how you say it. Laneige. Lip Glowy Balm in the flavor Berry. Berry, berry, berry. Now, I hate the lip mask that comes in the little like thing that you screw off. But I love this one a lot more. It's very thick and moisturizing. It smells like, like pink starburst mixed with another kind of berry candy. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and put it on. As you can see, it's very glossy. Sorry. But as you can see, it's just like a, a clear gloss, but with like a slight pink tint. A slight pink tint. So I will like pack that on. It's very thick. I wouldn't necessarily stay, say it's sticky though. Like, maybe a little. It definitely feels heavier on the lips, so if you don't like the sensation of that, I don't recommend it. Um, what I would recommend, though, well, let me give this product another moment. I never really wear this one at night. This is more like what I keep in my purse if I'm in public and, like, want my lips to look good. scrape. 
scrapes and burns. Temporarily protects and helps relieve chapped or cracked skin and the lips. Helps prevent from the drying effects of wind and cold weather. So maybe you don't want to try this in the summer, but in the winter, definitely a must have. But I got on, on this whenever I was on Accutane. Whenever I was in high school. That was my introduction of this. So I think that's it.